Film Masters, and on this episode, we are going to be using Krodos's Dehumanizer Simple Monsters. Now, that's a plugin from the company Krodos, and it makes a cheap plugin that allows you to manipulate your voice into something of that of a creature or monster or alien and stuff like that. Now, one thing is Krodos's Dehumanizer Simple Monsters is a cut-down version of Dehumanizer 2. But I'll get into a little bit of that further on in this tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make some monster grunts uh, using this great plugin. I've got it in Adobe Audition CC. So let's go and start a track. So I'm gonna go and make a waveform and let's call this uh, Growls, G-R-O-W-L-S, Growls. Let's leave the sample rate at 44,100 hertz, channel at stereo and bit depth at 32 floatings and select okay. So here we go. So when we are creating a monster growl, for example, or any other voice effect using this plugin, Try not to just talk normally. What you wanna do is do a little bit of voice acting. So think about the different types of creatures that you're creating, for example. Now, I'm going to be making a uh, monster growl effect, um, which will be simply my voice making growls and stuff like that, and we're gonna manipulate it. So let's record our sound or our voice. <laughs> Right, that's uh, very interesting. I'm gonna uh, do what I normally do is uh, top and tail my sound file. So I'm gonna select here and remove that by uh, selecting delete and do the same at the end. So we've got three sounds. Let's listen in and hear what they sound like. <laughs> So uh, they sound very interesting. Obviously, they do sound a little bit like a monster, but we're going to give it more depth. Now, before we do, let's go to effects. Let's select our amplitude and compression, and let's go to dynamic processing. What I want to do is bump up the sound. Um, I've got a preset that I've called Michael VoiceOver. Um, as you can see, uh, I've got a slight curve to my sound. So I'm gonna go back to default and show you how I did that. I simply select here and slowly pull it up to around about uh, there. Now you can play around with yours um, and listen in. So all it's doing, it's really pushing that sound up so we can get that dynamic processing out of the sound. So let's now uh, select apply. And as you can see, it's really pushed our sound up. Let's make sure it's not going to go in the red down here. And it has. So, so we're gonna go to effects and what we're gonna do is going to go to amplitude and compression once again. And what I wanna do is uh, adjust my sound. So I'm gonna press normalize. And I'm going to make the normalize uh, to 95.8. So I don't wanna go 100%, but I wanna compress it just below the envelope so it doesn't pop. So let's select apply. And as you can see, it's brought our sound waves down. I'm just gonna select the uh, warning here. And when I play it, as you can see, it's not uh, going above the threshold. And you know, if you're listening to it via speakers, you won't hear it crackling the speakers and so forth. So we've got our sound to where we want it. Now, all I need to do is go to my effects, uh, VST, because it's a VST plugin, effect, Krodos, and dehumanizer, simple monsters. So when you open up, the very first thing that you will see is uh, the Dehumanizer Simple Monsters interface. So first of all, we've got the presets. So if you do make a preset by making your own adjustments to the sliders, you can save those um, and they will appear in the preset section. So if you're happy and you've, you've made your own monster and you want to save it, you can do that. So that's a really great feature. First of all, there's a window over here. In this window is different sounds. So when you go up and have a look, there's all these different types of animal sounds that have been added uh, into the plugin. Coming up here, we can select uh, for our presets 
And for example, we've got different presets. We've got dialogue for children, giants, humanoid, uh, Martians, for example. You've got the growls and roars, which is where we're going to jump into. Um, and also sci-fi is another one. So you can obviously play around with these and get different sound effects. But I'm going to go into growls and roars and select elephant monster. Now, by doing that, the first thing it's done is it's already put our presets for the different types of sounds that we're getting out of the envelope over here on the right hand side, as well as it's automatically uh, made it elephant trumpeting uh, sound file on the left hand side. We've got this little uh, slider down here that allows us to increase or decrease this actual sound effect as it hits these sounds. So let's listen in and hear what it sounds like without any other further alteration. So I'm not sure if you can hear that, but you can hear a slight trumpeting sound coming through the sound, and that's obviously the elephant trumping sound wave file that's in there. But I'm gonna make it pig vocal. So let's select that and press play. So that's, that's already changed the sound that we've already put into Adobe's Audition. Um, so what we can do is press play and play around with the size. Obviously this is fully uh, set to full at the moment. Fury, um, age, wildness, and character. Now, if you buy the plugin, it's fairly cheap. Um, I'll put the website link below in the description so you can check it out. Um, but it also comes with PDF, obviously, documentation showing you what all the features do. But I'm going to press play and we're going to listen in and just hear what some of the changes are, the subtle changes that come through using this plugin. So as you can hear, there's certain subtle uh, sound adjustments that are happening when we're playing around the size, obviously, of the sound envelope, the fury. Um, you've got the aging process to either make it a young sounding uh, voice, which would probably be more high pitched um, compared to a more deep voice by going to age, uh, the wildness, which uh, obviously mixes up a lot of the... Uh, the sound file that we're using over here on the left hand side. Um, let's have a look at some other presets. Let's uh, drop that down, go to growls and roars, and let's have a look at Cave Freak. And I'm gonna press play. Now, another thing you could do is you can adjust it so that the sound comes through the wave file. So I want it to play the full way through. So let's listen in and hear what that sounds like. So I'm happy with that. So that's gonna be our monster growling effect. Obviously it's coming through uh, as a preset for Cave Freak, which obviously is some sort of, uh, like for example, Cave Troll. Now one thing about Krodos is they are used in a lot of sound design for games. So a lot of the games that you're probably playing online, um, these sound effects that you're getting are probably coming from this particular plugin. Now there's obviously a lot of plugins out there now um, that do these type of effects, but I found that uh, Krodos is one of the leading plugins and they're always updating their plugins that I'm seeing online as well. Now they're also known for Dehumanizer 2. Now Dehumanizer 2 is a plugin that is used, especially by the high-end studios, especially in their game design, uh, movie effects, I believe some of it has even been used in the Flash, for example. So these type of things can be created using this particular plugin. 
Once you've done it and you're happy with what it sounds like, obviously you can go in there and make some different adjustments, but if you're happy with it, it's just a matter of selecting apply and it will apply that effect to the sound. Now I'm just gonna bump up the sound a little bit so you can hear it. And this is what we have created. <laughs> So that's quite creepy. Um, obviously, it, it makes a good sound. It may be something that you're not particularly wanting to do. However, if you're wanting to uh, get this plugin, it is fairly cheap. Again, the link is down below. Jump online, see how much it is, uh, order it. It's simply a matter of loading it into the Adobe Audition. It recognized it straight away without any issues at all. And then you can start making your own monster sound effects. Obviously, it could be used for film and television um, and short films and any other projects that you're interested in. Once you've done that and you're happy with the sound effects, it's then a matter of just simply rendering those out. So I'm going to go up to export and just export the file. It will open up as ground wave. I'm going to simply save it in the file that's already in that location. If I wanted to, I can select browse and look for where I would like to save that sound file. Obviously, Adobe Audition has multiple sound formats. As you can see, there's a large list. I'm gonna leave it as a waveform, so a uh, .wav, a wave, and I'll leave it as it is and select OK. And now that file is finished. Now, if you wanna become a Filmmaster sub, it's pretty simple. You can subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook and or on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.